There are a few things we could be talking about for Canucks Nation, but let's talk about the one that nobody, absolutely nobody, is talking about. Let's talk about Matthias Bromir, who is a Swedish hockey league athlete, a guy who is 25 years old, 6 foot 183 pounds. He plays on both the left and the right wing as a forward in the SHL. Why are we talking about this player, Matthias Bromia? Well, it's because there was an article here on Expressen.se talking about how Bromia is in contact with several NHL clubs. Now, all the screenshots that we'll be using in this video are from the article itself. However, it is automatically translated via Google Translate. So we'll scroll down here and read some of these little quotes over here. Matthias Bromia is making success this season in the SHL, and he has been selected to play in tournaments for the national team, and next season, he will try to play in the NHL. Now obviously, because he is a current under-contract SHL athlete, no NHL team is allowed to sign him right now, but according to data provided by Sport Expressen, there are mainly three clubs that have shown great interest in this player. It's Washington, it's Vancouver, and it's Detroit. So who exactly is this guy? Why is he on the radar? And what can he bring to any of these three teams, Washington, Vancouver, or Detroit? Let's talk about that in this video. Matthias Bromia is a guy who spent his entire hockey playing career in Sweden. He hadn't taken any time off to go to the OHL or the CHL or any of that. He played in the Junior 18 Elite, in the Junior 18 Allsvenskan, the Super Elite, the Allsvenskan, and eventually the SHL. He's been a Swedish homegrown talent the entirety of his career. This season, he's playing for the Oribro Hockey Club in the SHL as their leading point scorer. 34 points in 42 games, 14 goals and 20 assists for the 25-year-old winger. It's actually interesting because last season he played for Mora IK and he got himself 35 points in 52 games. That was his career high, 35 points. He's at 34 points this season. And also last season, he set his career high in goals with 15. This season, he is at 14 with 10 fewer games played and the same amount of assists. So things are really looking up for Bromir as he's going through the SHL ranks. He's only played three seasons in the SHL. This is his third one at the moment. And he has been steadily progressing upwards as the time has gone on. He's taken a long path to get here, going through the Super Elite and spending an extended amount of time in the Allsvenskan before coming over to Mora IK in the SHL because Mora IK was promoted to the SHL a few years ago. His team, Oribro Hockey Club, is not really doing all too great. They're currently 8th in the SHL in total points. They have a negative goal differential and overall, Bromia is the guy who is kind of carrying this team. He's one of the best players in the SHL in terms of points. He's 8th in SHL points at the moment with his 34 points. He's actually tied for 7th, but the guy who he's tied with has fewer games played. In terms of points per game this year, Bromia is over there at a pretty nice number. He is 11th in the league in points per game when it comes to players over 3 games played. Taking a look at some of his advanced analytics, he's a guy who averages about 18 and a half minutes a night, and he pushes offense positively at even strength whenever he's on the ice relative to his team. Around 79% of his points come at even strength, and of all of those even strength points, 76% of those even strength points are primary. So he's driving play really well, he's got himself 13 even strength goals for that's his most common point producing metric at even strength. So he's a guy who's able to drive play really well for his team, especially relative to the rest of his team when he's not on the ice. Bromia averages about 2.3 primary points per 60 minutes, which is a really good number, especially for a guy who is in the SHL and is carrying a pretty mediocre Oribro team. So, with all of this in mind, it's easy to see why any of these NHL teams, Washington, Detroit, or Vancouver, would be interested in this player. 
Now, I'm not going to come on here and say that everything that he's been doing in the SHL is going to 100% translate into the NHL. Just because he's getting an average of 2.3 primary points per 60 minutes in the SHL doesn't mean he's going to be doing that at the NHL level, it's just a different game, and he most likely will have a different role. However, it's easy to see the appeal. When you have a player who is indeed doing a really good job at driving offense relative to their mediocre team, it certainly does spell a good sign when it comes to seeing the value in that player. With the Vancouver Canucks or the Washington Capitals, they may just be looking for another middle six, a bottom six, contributing offensive player who might get his opportunities on the power play once in a while. As for Detroit, it's a little bit of a different scenario over there because anybody, because anybody who can step up and contribute offensively for the Red Wings would be somebody that they would actually want to have. Which is why going over to Detroit might prove to be the best opportunity for him because they simply just could use some good scorers more than Vancouver or Washington would. But obviously, I'm not going to rule anything out. When it comes to NHL potential, I think Bromia definitely does have the resume to stay in the league. But of course, I'd be kind of lying if I said that I think he would be an amazing just under point per game producer over here. Not everybody who's doing really well in Europe can come over to the NHL and contribute in the exact same way. I think everybody kind of knows that at this point. But just being a guy who could probably pot upwards of 20, 25, maybe 30 points in a season wouldn't be a bad addition, especially for a guy who has never had an NHL pro contract before. He'd come over here, sign a really small deal, and if he works out, he works out. If he meshes with the players that they already have, then hey, that'll be great. For Vancouver specifically, I would really like it if they got Bromia because he's another Swede. We've been lacking in the Swedish department lately, ever since the Sedins retired. Now we're just left with Fantenberg, Eriksson, Edler, Patterson, Markstrom, but we could use a little bit more if I'm going to be honest, and Niels Hoglander is supposed to join the team within the next two or three years as well. So that would be a nice little addition there. But when it comes to overall opportunity, I do still believe that Detroit is the best team. As for the Washington Capitals, well, they can pretty much do whatever they want. They already have a Stanley Cup, and they're in a position where they're already on top of the hockey world. A guy like Bromea signing with a Washington team would guarantee him a pretty good NHL record with the club, because he's already going to be joining a pretty stacked team. But with that comes the inevitability of less ice time, less priority in the lineup, all that stuff. So I'm not necessarily too sure for a guy who's going to go over to North America for the first time, wanting to prove himself and wanting to play in the NHL, that playing for the best team in the league would be the best idea. I would much rather lean towards Detroit or Vancouver if Bromia is looking to make an NHL long-term stay. It all boils down to philosophy as well, and for the Vancouver Canucks, I think if they can use a guy like Bromier and make him a serviceable NHL forward, a guy who could probably come in here and play some bottom six, maybe middle six minutes, it makes some of the other guys on their team expendable, which would be a good thing because the majority of players on the Canucks do have some unreasonably high contracts for the amount of contributions they do to the team, so it would open up the opportunity to trade some of these guys for sure. That's something that I think any Canucks fan can understand the value in. But whether it's Vancouver, Detroit, or Washington, hopefully Bromier can come over here and have some good success in the NHL. We've seen some guys come over and actually do that. Ilya Mikheyev is a guy who's doing that very recently, but we've also seen our fair share of guys to come over from Europe who haven't been all too great. The most notable example in my mind is Vladim Shipachev, but... Obviously, you can't use history to determine everything because some people turn out well, some people turn out poorly. We'll just hope that Bromia becomes one of the good ones. So that wraps up my thoughts here on this free agent player who might be coming to North America next season. Either Detroit, Vancouver, or Washington seem to be the teams to be interested in this guy. So we'll see where things go as the days go forward. Comment down below what you think about this player. If you're from Oribro and you watch the hockey club over there, then please, I welcome a scouting report in the comments for the way he plays. Hope you enjoyed this video. And... 
Bye.